What's up guys? This is the Browse Blades Reloader. Clone! I have to say I highly, highly respect Jason Browse, all his work, but unfortunately I can't afford to buy one of his knives just now. So this is why I got this blade for $22 shipped. Made after the original reloader, not the mini reloader. This is the big one. I have extra large sized glove hands. And uh, this is the blade. It is a stonewashed recurve modified Tanto blade. Has a cutout in the blade. Although it has a flipper and that's how I choose to open it. Um, the flipper, you can push button it, but it won't uh, flip out all the way. I use just a little wrist flick. And uh, if you should uh, light switch it, that would be very uncom uncomfortable. Because look at all this jipping. You can open it with the cutout as well. And uh, yeah, almost has a G10 backspacer that is protruding. The liners protruding as well, which is a little bit of a hot spot. I don't know if the original model has that as well, but this one does. This one a little bit sharp, but if you have it in a real hammer grip. This meat is definitely thicker than the one uh, towards the tip of your finger, so you don't feel it as much. What you definitely feel is this jimping here, because this is very, very sharp and functional jimping. Not sharp that it will, would rip up your skin, but sharp that it would extremely, extremely do well. Do extremely well, I mean. It has the deepest pocket clip I have ever had, much like SOG knives use, but this is better because it slips into the scale right here and it is fitted with one little Torx screw. Original, originally it can be switched over, over to the other side, but there is no screw here and no slot for the pocket clip to slide in, so right side tip up only. For me, that is the correct side. The detent ball is on a little, uh, well, weird uh, place. It's right here. You can see it. So if you disengage it, you already hit the detent ball. Very, very, very smooth action. Very smooth action. The lockup is nice and early. The liners are quite thin, actually. Um, I've heard and seen browse blades, uh, liners, very, very thick. This is perfectly fine. I would assume this is around two millimeters thick, maybe even three. Eh, rather two. Let's say two. Really nice early lockup. The blade is very sharp actually. This is stupid paper. Um, it is hollow ground on this part. And this is almost convex. It's, it's rather flat ground here, the Tanto tip. Awesome, awesome jimping on the blade and on the frame, well on the handle actually, awesome. Very nice G10, G10 milling on the scales. The liners are not milled out. There are no holes for lightening up this blade and I don't really care. I think if my memory serves me, cor serves me correctly this weighs around 182 grams, something like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's done, what that is in ounces, but this is a big plate and it doesn't feel heavy for the size. Doesn't feel heavy. 
one thing that could be a little bit uncomfortable well if you really really use this plate hard a little bit the liner a little bit this jimping here but I already told you that the hardware is actually pretty standard just some Torx, Torx screws um, it carries really nicely in pocket really really nicely the weight distribution is perfect it, it is on the bottom of your pocket actually and uh, getting it out not all too hard you could use a, a lanyard on there um, loop it through this hole or just tie a knot around here um, because it doesn't have a traditional lanyard hole um, thickness wise it's not overly thick it carries really nicely in cargo pants so I thank you very very much for watching this is highly recommended fantastic knife and uh, if you like that one why don't you save up some money and get the real one eventually have a good night Balar Morgulis